The wait for nearly 8,000 Cuban migrants stuck in Costa Rica might finally be nearing an end. Details of a plan for Central American countries to help them continue their journey to the U.S. were finally released on Wednesday. La ley que en Unidos, Costa Rica's foreign minister announced the plan at a conference in the capital, where he was joined by representatives from the U.N. and the International Organization for Migration. The pilot program is set to begin with a single flight on January 12th. 180 Cubans will pay for a flight to El Salvador and bus ticket to Mexico. The $550 fee also covers Central American visas. We've been very clear from the beginning. Neither the government of Costa Rica or any other government is going to cover the travel costs for these people. The migrants have been stranded in Costa Rica since November 15th when Nicaragua refused to give them transit visas on their way to the U.S. Cubans benefit from an old and some critics say outdated law that allows them to apply for residency if they just make it to the United States. No other migrants have that right. Janet Seguet is five months pregnant and wants to get to the U.S. soon. Yo lo iba a antes de salir embarazada. I was going to leave before I got pregnant. Everyone says I was crazy for risking my life and my child, but the truth is I am doing it for my baby who will thank me one day. Migrants find ways to pass the time, but what they really want is to be back on their way north. Officials say they don't know when other flights will follow. It would be at least a week, they say, after the pilot flight on January 12th. It's a waiting game for thousands of Cuban migrants at these temporary shelters at this school where hundreds of people are camped out. No one from the government has come to tell them when they might be going or who might be the first to go. There's been a total lack of information. They'll tell you you're going next week, and then on Monday they'll tell you it's Wednesday. And then on Wednesday they'll say it's Friday, but then no one shows up to tell you. There's no reliable information and people are suffering. Officials hope to win the trust of these skeptical migrants once these flights get underway. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, La Cruz, Costa Rica.